Nice Jameson has been called up to the U.S. U-17. Morton Bierschel had a nice season for Las Vegas last year. He is out due to injury, so three important misses for Orange County. Here we go from Cashman Field. Uh, Las Vegas in its black uniforms, Orange County in its orange uniforms. What are you watching for early on, Andrew? Well, other than the acrobatics <laughs> there from a bit of a strong tackle to start the game. Opponents have not allowed a goal since four games ago. Three straight clean sheets for Orange County. There's a long distance hit and it's just wide. That's why I did a little bit of research and he's listed as a defender, midfielder and forward. So a man that clearly hasn't found what, what part of the pitch he wants to be, but he's got so many attributes that teams want him to, want him to play. It doesn't matter where. It's a pass and you see a few people losing their feet. There's a full body tackle from Bagley. He's managed to win it and a strike with a bit of a deflection. It, it could have gone anywhere, but... It's a bit of a crazy statistic, isn't it, when you, you've yeah. lost as many as they have. Here is a chance here. Five in the attack for Orange County SC. It's Scott Eloski to his right, and he's open to scoring. Back in the team and back on the score sheet. Last year's Golden Boot winner has 12 here in 2023. Milan Eloski delivers a road lead for Orange County. Kyle Scott got the ball here, but he showed composure. I thought he'd lost his opportunity, but he played that little pass, great composure, and the ball ends up at Milan Oloski, and the golden boot winner, just so calm in that position, cuts inside onto his right foot and just finishes it past Diaz, who had nothing he could do about it, but for me, the build-up play from... Colin Shuttler under some pressure, and it's a good win for Las Vegas. They've won it, and the shot blocked. Another hit, and that save Big Perry in front of Bushu. Las Vegas shouting for a penalty. Nice build up here. It's Among. Among! How did he do that? Spectacular around the goalkeeper and the center back. A world class goal for Tomas Among. He, he, he was, was it Brian Oloski coming off the right hand side but the pace of a man got, got there and the, the onrushing Leo Dizzy it just needed to put a touch wasn't able to score two seasons in Segunda B in Spain and then really got things going now last year with San Diego and has carried that form in Orange County and there is a third goal from Orange County It's all rolling the right way for Orange County SC, home or road. Now in position for an eighth straight win. It's whipped in with great pace. It's right on the money, and Nakim is just no one round him, not man, no. Excellent ball to Milana Lasky. He is saved by Diaz. Oh, a good chance there. Here is the long ball over top. Oloski got there in front, and for me there, Carroll can't stop. He's got to put his arm on. You've got to lean on Oloski, and he just watched Oloski take. Vegas trying to build out of the back, but Orange County continues to press despite the 3-0 lead. That's to the back post. There's another header, and it's saved. Bending ball is headed straight in the air. Brian Oloski, saved to the near post by Leo Diaz. Defender here, Danny Rios, you've got to be a bit smarter, show him onto that right foot. You don't, last thing you want is him coming inside and, and getting a strike, another good save. Owen Lamb from Santa Barbara, California. Jimenez Aranzazu deflected shot, and the first test of the night is passed by Collins County. Now Dylan Powers is departing, part of a triple change. Andrew Fox will replace him. And Huntington in the... He, he burst onto the scene with great promise, played for Hibs, and then went to I think was Sheffield United for a few years. Uh, but it was a big money signing, so he's it's the pace as we, we used to see him. Danny Rios, push you on the overlap. Dalling back to Rios, well-timed, and Rios has another! 
is fourth in three games in life for Las Vegas. The former midfielder looking more and more like a forward game by game. Oh, this one was a traditional midfield goal, wasn't it? He's, he's coming. It's about this. This is a confident man's finish. Coming from midfield here, you see he's, com he's direct into Dolan. Just makes that run straight away. Make up Dolan's mind. And what a finish that is. That's a, a, the sign of a confident man. Just a too long on the ball. You're not going to have someone come in and give you a week done if you don't um, get rid of the ball quickly. <laughs> That's a nice delivery, headed back across Central. What a spectacular goal. Team football at its finest for Orange County. Yeah, fantastic goal again. We've been, we've been, it's all about this ball to the back post, think to, to perfection, headed across from Langford and McNulty just attacked it and a bullet header into the top of the net. No pressure on the ball on the initial service. And he found the way, a goal scorer's goal in between two center backs for Sparky McNulty. Four to one, Orange County, three different goal scorers in the first half, a fourth different goal scorer after halftime. Now a chance here for McNulty for a second, slips it through, unselfish. And Orange County will celebrate a fifth goal. He walked it into the back of the net. A moment ago, it was Lankford to McNulty, and this time he returns the favor just a sensational goal from Orange County. He is unbelievable. You see here, he's just scored, so you think he's going to hit it, but he's just laid it into Langford. No, no defenders there. Full time at Cashman Field, a very impressive performance from the hottest team in the USL Championship. They set the club record for consecutive wins last week at Sacramento. They extended tonight eight straight wins.